Hello, everyone. Welcome to the CyPerb application. CyPerb standing for Customers, Invoices, Project Expenses, Reporting, and Billing. So today we're going to review the new application. Um, we're going to search for customers. We're going to create a new account. And we're going to create a new customer entirely. Um, when you first launch the, the CyPerb application, it's going to default to the dashboard screen, which will list all of your favorite customers and accounts. I don't have anyone currently favorited, which is the reason why my, mine are blank. You also have the option to toggle the theme to dark or light, and for these purposes, we'll use the light theme. If you need any assistance with CyPerb at all, you can select the help link and it will open the blink page for CyPerb, which will um, direct you to future training dates, the KBA, and additional information such as definitions, roles, access, and the flowchart. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead with a search of the customer. I'm going to search Cyperb itself. However, when you look in the left upper left hand side, you can see that you can search between an organization or a person. When you are searching a person, you will need to enter the first name and then the last name and then continue on with the search. We will continue with an organization search first. So you enter the name or the party number or the account number and then you can um, edit as needed down here before you continue on with your search. And these are the list of Cyperb, Cyperb customers. I need Cyperb T1 and I can see that there are two accounts for Cyperb T1. I'm going to view I need the service agreements one, and I'm going to view this customer to see if the contact information is correct, the site address information is correct, and also if the invoice delivery method is correct. If everything matches as needed, then this is the customer account that I need, and I can proceed with my invoicing and or contract creation. So here's the, the account information, and everything looks good. Um, according to my customer account needs. This is the correct address that I need for it. And I can see that um, when I scroll down under account settings, that the under invoicing, it's set to paper as needed. So then I can decide this actually is the customer account number that I need right here. And I can proceed with my invoicing and contracting. If however, I decide that actually isn't. I need someone, um, I'm in the business and finance department and I need a different type of agreement. So I'm going to go ahead and, but I'm still going to work under Cyperb T1. I'm going to select this, this row and from here I'll select new account. And then this is where I'm going to enter my organization, which is equivalent to your financial unit. So I'll enter business, I'll scroll down and select financial services, and then I'll select my business type. I need consulting services. So I'll select that and then select the new account button. Yes, I need a new account. Cyperb is a live application. So when you create your account in this application, it is immediately created in Oracle for you to use. Okay, so from here, you need to input your supervisor's name, last name, first name, and then submit the reason for creating the new account or amending the existing account. And then that will uh, send an email directly to your supervisor. So this was, this is an organization that's already entered. There, when creating a new customer, you will need to create the tax, add to the tax ID. We'll go through that in the future. Um, the customer class, I'm going to select private. And then from here, I will select next. And then this is where I'm going to add the contact name for my customer. 
enter the name, enter the email address as needed. I will leave the purpose for work. I, have, I will enter the phone number. I'll also leave the purpose for work. And when we, when we scroll down to contract responsibilities, everything is defaulted as needed. So please don't um, edit or amend any of the responsibilities. So we're going to ignore this, scroll back up and select the next button. And from here, we're going to select the invoicing preferred delivery method. You have an option of email or paper. Email meaning that the system automatically emails the invoice for you once the invoice is generated. If you select paper, this means that it is the customer department's responsibility to send the invoice directly themselves. I'm going to select email and it will send the invoice to the email that I just uh, input in the prior screen. From here, I'll select next. And then this is where we will enter the site details. So the site name can be the same as the organization and the business and the service type. So in this case, I will enter, oh, BFS Consulting Services. And then the address. And then when we scroll down to address purposes, these four purposes are automatically um, generated for you. So please don't amend anything here. Don't X anything out. Don't check or uncheck anything and don't edit any of the purposes. The only thing that, that needs to be done here is under the bill to address, open the, the drop down and then select the address that we just entered here. So once that's done, we can finalize our customer because we have the account details, the contact account, the profile and the site information. Everything is ready to create. That means there's no errors, but, but if you want to go ahead and review everything that you just created, open each dropdown, review the information, verify that everything is, is correct. This is the invoice uh, delivery method. And then once you verify that everything is correct, go back to the very top dropdown and open that again and then select the create button to finalize the creation of your account, which once again is going to be live and therefore created immediately in Oracle for you to use um, once you have your customer account number. Perfect. So here, the basic customer created has been created successfully. So right now, we are in the organizational chart view, which is this icon right here. Um, at the very top, we have the customer, Cyperb T1, and then following are the three accounts that are under Cyperb T1. These two were already created prior to the one that I just did. So service agreements and BFS conference and event services. I created the third one, which is the consulting services just now. So if I wanted to review that information, I can just select it and it will pull up the account description and I can edit from here as needed. Or if I needed to review the contact information, I can review it here and edit as needed. The profile settings are also here to review the invoice delivery method, and then I can edit it as needed, and also the site information, such as the address, which can be edited here as needed. If this view is too, um, too cumbersome, because there could be numerous accounts under a customer, you can scroll here to the left-hand side and open the Explorer view. And from here, you can select the necessary account, this one being the last one, which I can verify because it's the Business and Financial Services Consulting Services. Um, and then this is where you'll have your account number and your customer number. This is how you create a new account. If you decide I actually, I need a completely new customer altogether, um, you're going to select the create button 
And from here, you're going to enter the organization name and then select the organization name or the person name, which will be the first name, middle if needed, and last name. For these purposes, we'll create an organization. So you'll enter the full customer name and then select the check button. What this is going to do is you can see these three buttons. It's going to check in Oracle for any customers titled Cyperb Test 3, any customers with Cyperb, any customers with Test. We can see that an exact match is not found and that is exactly what we want, so I'll close that. There are no customers with Cyperb Test 3, so it generates zero, but we'll see how many customers have the name Cyperb in it. There are 11, but as I said, none of them are exactly what I needed, so we'll continue on with the search. And we cannot create an account until every single one of these has been clicked on. Uh, when, there are 56, but once again, none of these are what I need, so I can finally uh, select the, the Create button. Yes, I do want to confirm this, please. And then this is where you'll enter your supervisor name again, last name, first name provide the reason and submit. Okay, so from here, we created an organization and then enter the tax ID number as needed. The account description is going to be your organization and the business type. I will create a service agreement. I'll X that and then enter the customer class. I'll say this is private and from here we can select next and then this is where we'll enter the contact details again I'll leave the purpose for work enter the phone number leave the purpose for work and again when you scroll down to contact responsibilities I won't touch anything here so everything looks good and complete I'll continue on to the invoicing method, I'm going to select email and select next, and then enter the site address information. So once again, I won't touch anything regarding any of the uh, responsibilities and purposes, but I will add the bill to address from the dropdown. I'm going to finalize the customer, review that everything is correct, and then select create. Excellent. Once your customer account is created, you will have the information available. So here's your customer number. And here is your account number. If you want to view that in one page, just open the Explorer view again and then open, open the account details and you'll have the account number here and the customer number here. Now, if you decide, oh, I need to make some changes, I input some of the information incorrectly, this actually is not a private customer class, this is state. So you can edit here as necessary, save, and the save is immediate and live in Oracle. Or you decide, I need to edit my contact information, the address was incorrect. The email address was incorrect update as necessary within the contact data and select save. If you decide that this actually, I'm just gonna delete everything altogether, go ahead and delete the contact and you can make a new one from there. Or if you decide that you want to go ahead and change the invoice delivery method, change it from the profile settings, open the drop down, update as necessary and save. One thing to note about editing the address when you open the site and you um, need to edit the address itself, once you make the change within any, any part of the address, 
you need to go back down to the Bill to Address dropdown, open it up again, and then select the new address that was just edited under this section. Otherwise, it won't update automatically. So don't forget any changes that are made in that any changes that are made within the address itself need to be reflected in this in the bill to address drop down. So that is complete. I'm going to save and that is how you create your customer, your account and then make any edits to any existing customer accounts as well. Thank you.